Hi, thanks for stopping by. In this video, we will learn how to build a lollipop chart using Power BI. As far as I know, there is no native lollipop visual in Power BI. There are many third party visuals that are available in the app source. In this video, we will use a native visual to quickly build a lollipop chart. We have, uh, I can see that we have a slicer up top where the field value is issue subcategory and there is a clustered column chart. So this is pretty easy, simple and easy to read. On the X axis, we have neighborhood district. On the Y axis, we have a measure, which is number of complaints. So here, each column represents a neighborhood district. Its length represents the value of the category. So um, that is pretty easy for us to compare various uh, categories, right? So just like bar charts, the lollipop charts are all also useful for comparing different categories. We can think of it this way. Lollipop charts present the same data as a column or bar chart, but in a new refreshing way. As you can see, there is a marker at the end of a long line to represent the value. Also remember this important fact on the y-axis, the value is represented by the center of the marker. When we compare both these charts, we can notice the subtle differences between these two charts. It is very useful uh, to have a lollipop chart when you have several columns of the same height. So that way it helps uh, to avoid cluttered uh, bars or columns bunched up almost together. So let us uh, go uh, to our report page and here is a lollipop chart. So let us try to um, build the lollipop chart right from the ground up. Let us drag a line chart onto the canvas and I've added all those uh, x-axis and y-axis values. As you can see, we have the data labels too. It's pretty good uh, to look at. And we go to format section. Let us try to uh, make changes here. Let us try to add markers. We'll uh, enable the show for all categories. And we'll increase the marker size to 10. And based on your needs, you can change the color and etc. Right? Already this looks good. So we have all those markers up there. So what we could do is next we can go to lines and disable uh, show for all series. So this is what uh, we have. We have all the markers here. So what we could do is next we can use a concept uh, which is error bars, which is available for us. So what we can do is we can add upper bound and lower bound to these error bars. That way we have a line, right? So what we could do is we can create a measure lower bound equal to zero. And for the higher bound, we already have the measures, right? We have the number of uh, complaints. So what we can do is we can add directly that uh, measure value to upper bound. And the lower bound, we can add this uh, lower bound uh, measure. So straight away, you can see this looks pretty good. It's almost almost looks like a lollipop chart. In case if somebody is just tuning in, they can uh, see that this is a lollipop chart. But we have used a native visual and built this. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next video.